Hello kids. Today our lesson is about evaporation and condensation. Evaporation and condensation. Repeat after me. Evaporation. Condensation. Okay. Before we start, let's revise our previous lesson. We learned about two changes that can change the state of matter from solid to liquid and from liquid to solid, from solid to liquid and from liquid to solid. What do we call the change of matter from solid to liquid? The change of matter from solid to liquid. Okay, this change of matter from solid to liquid is called melting. Melting. The melting, it needs you to, to raise the, the temperature or to put it in a high temperature to add heat. Okay, and the change of matter from liquid to solid, from liquid to solid, it's like putting the water inside the freezer to make it ice. This process is called freezing. It needs a very low temperature to freeze something to turn it from solid, uh, from liquid to solid, from liquid to solid. This drawing shows the, the melting and the freezing. It's opposite to each other. The freezing is uh, turning the liquid water into solid water. It turns the liquid water into solid water, which is the ice. And the melting, when you put the ice outside the freezer, which has uh, more temperature or you add more heat to the ice, it's going to turn into liquid water. This process is called melting. So the melting needs to add heat and the freezing needs to take away heat. They are opposite to each other. Melting is from solid to liquid and the freezing is from liquid to solid. It changes also the properties of water in the liquid state. The water takes the shape of the container in the solid state. It has its own shape. Um, uh, the solid water and the liquid water, both of them have the same volume. So the volume won't change, but the shape will change. Sorry. Okay. Now, if we add more heat to the liquid water, uh, we can also change it. So adding heat or adding more heat can change water again. Um, if the water is in the liquid state and we add more heat to it, it's going to turn into a gas. This process is called evaporation. This process is called evaporation. Repeat after me, evaporation. It's the change of water from a liquid to a gas. It's the change of water from a liquid to a gas. When liquid water is heated, it evaporates and turns into water vapor. It turns into water vapor. Now think about the opposite of evaporation. If we want to change the uh, water vapor into water again, a gas to a liquid, what should we do? Excellent. We have to take away heat. Now, taking away heat can also change water. When we take away heat from liquid water, it's going to turn into ice or solid water, which is freezing. But when we take away heat from gas, it's going to turn into liquid. This process is called condensation 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 is the change of water from a gas to a liquid it's a change 
of water from a gas to a liquid. When water vapor cools, it condenses into liquid water. It looks like water droplets on the window uh, during winter when the temperature inside our houses are uh, more than the temperature outside. Um, the water vapor in the air will condense on the window because the window will be very cold because of the temperature outside. So the water vapor condenses on the window. It also happens when you have a um, very cold drink, the water vapor around the cup will condense on the cup. Now I want you to open your science book, the physical science, on page 368-369. So open the science book, the physical science book, on page 368-369. Okay, here's the page. Let's listen. Adding and subtracting. Adding heat can change water. Look at the water in the pot. How does the water change as the stove heats it? The water turns into water vapor. It evaporates into the air. Evaporation is the change of water from a liquid to a gas. Okay. Now I want you to look at the picture of page 368. This picture it shows a pot on the stove. Uh, I want you to show where is the liquid water in the picture. The liquid water. Okay, here. This is the liquid water in the picture. It's inside the pot. Now, why is the liquid water in the pot turning into a gas? Why do you think the water liquid the liquid water, sorry, is turning into a water vapor, which is a gas. Here it is. Can you see it? Okay. It's because heat from the stove is being added to the water. Because there is heat is adding from the stove. This process uh, liquid water is changing to a gas. This process is called evaporation. So evaporation is the change of water from a liquid to a gas. Why is it happening? Because we're adding heat to the water. So I want you to highlight that the water turns, turns into a water vapor. It evaporates into the air. Again, evaporation is the process that causes the water to turn from a liquid to a gas. It needs to add more heat. When we add heat, the water will evaporate. On the second page, uh, this picture is showing us uh, uh, water droplets on the window. I want you to uh, think about the water vapor. What is the water vapor? The water vapor, it's the water in the form of a gas. Adding heat to liquid water changes it to water vapor. But what happens when you add, when you take away heat from water vapor? Excellent. When we take away heat, the cold window cools water vapor in the air and the water vapor changes to water. It condenses as water drops on the window. Condensation, the process condensation, it changes the water from a gas to a liquid. The water vapor will turn into water drops, the water in the liquid form. Okay, now here's the question. They are asking us to circle each math term that helps you understand evaporation and condensation 
Again, if we want to understand evaporation and condensation, uh, evaporation, we said that we have to add heat to the liquid water to turn it into gas. So um, here we will draw a circle around, oh, sorry, here I need, I don't want this. I need to draw a circle on the math terms that help us to understand evaporation and condensation. Evaporation is to add heat, subtracting, which means to take away. It means to take away heat to make the water vapor condense. Uh, please, I want you to read these two pages and make sure that you understand everything. Then I want you to open your science booklet on page 12. Okay, here is the science booklet, page 12, 13, and 14. Uh, this worksheet helps you to uh, revise lesson 1 and lesson 3, uh, the states of matter, and how does matter change. It includes the freezing, evaporation, uh, condensation, and melting. It has the states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, and it has the properties of matter, color, shape, size, and texture. Please solve the, this worksheet, uh, take a picture of your answers, and send it back to me. Thank you.